caviar is a delicacy for many, but comes at a cost not only to our pockets, but also to the environment. The fish eggs are extracted from sturgeon, who often die as a result and are prone to overfishing. So despite sturgeon thriving for nearly 250 million years, they're now more critically endangered than any other group of species. But one company based at South Milford have developed a patented approach to caviar extraction that's much more sustainable. We, we needed to change the business from a, a small um, sturgeon production unit um, to a caviar production so we could generate the extra income. Um, we need the extra income so we can enlarge the farm, put more modernised kit inside and then eventually start breeding sturgeon again and um, supplying them to some of the conservation areas in the world. Most fish will um, produce eggs in maybe year one or two. Sturgeon don't produce eggs until maybe six or seven. So it's a, a longer process rearing the fish. And at the end of the day, um, most sturgeon are killed at the age of seven. Um, our process is slightly different because we don't kill the sturgeon. And the farm is one of a kind. We're unique because at the moment we're the only farm in the world doing it. Um, and certainly will be the only farm in the UK doing it um, for a number of years. You know, I've always wanted to put sturgeon back in the wild but to get there you've got to go down the caviar route because that's the way to make money with sturgeon but I don't want to come to work every morning knocking them on the head so you know it's a long process to try to find a decent no-kill that you know could be used in the UK because it's you know it's not a massive market in the UK for sturgeon caviar so we needed one that were ethical and we needed one that would um, you know, relate, the buyers can relate to the sturgeons. Ovulation is controlled at the farm to ensure that the eggs and fish aren't harmed in any way, unlike the traditional method of force stripping. Once the eggs have been removed, the fish is placed in a recovery tank and the process is then repeated yearly until she takes a well-earned retirement. We, uh, one of the processes is um, making it as natural as possible so they do a natural spawn. Um, that was, for many farms, quite hard to do, you know, because they have a big building or a big patch of land. But you, we here have separate buildings for each season, um, so different light temperatures, time that they're in there, um, obviously feeds. Um, it works for them. They're just nice creatures to work with, you know. They're just lovely things, you know, especially the sturgeon. They're um, not like you. So common goldfish, you know, they're totally different. They're uh, like a pet dog. <laughs> the father and son team behind KC Caviar hope to return many sturgeon back to the wild to ensure the fish are around for many more of their generation to appreciate. Anna Riley, That's TV.